What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Struggle Productions. I got the Graham Graham here. We're going to lunch. Woo! A little bit of drift action there. There we go. Holy. You guys like that? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to head out. We're going to go get some lunch at uh, Noodles and Company. And, yeah, it's going to be a good day. Stay tuned for the video, guys. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright, so I figured before we got to lunch, I would actually tell you guys what this video, and you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, so you kind of know what we're going over. Uh, we are going to be comparing Scalia Motorsports and Merrick Motorsports intake rings, and we're going to see, you know, quality, we're going to see how well the products are put together, which one will last longer, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So sit back, relax, let's get into this video. And as soon as I get home from lunch, we're going to be going over the intake rings and showing you guys exactly how they stack up against each other. Oh, look at the cute little Mustang. So cute, so cute. Oh, hello. Oh, he's going away from me. Where are you going? It's just a six. It's just a six. See you, buddy. You okay? Yeah. All right. Let's go. We're here, Noodles & Company. We're gonna leave her for a few minutes. Obviously, parking away from everyone. So, yeah, gotta do it. So yeah, we're gonna go grab some food, and I will see you guys in a second. What are you gonna get? I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> I wonder how, how spicy is. Well, it's got two of these next to oh, it, that's so. Too hot for me. The shrimp? Yeah. Well, good. zucchini shrimp scampi. Yeah, you want good. that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. So living in the Pacific Northwest definitely has its perks. I mean, everything is beautiful. Everything is green. There's a lot of forest and wildlife and animals and all that stuff. But for people who own cars and want to keep them nice, this is what you're dealing with almost year round. You may have like four to six weeks of sunshine and then it's going to start raining again. So kind of shit, but you got to deal with it when you can. But uh, yeah, we're going to get the hood here of Artemis looking all clean and we're gonna make it like a prepped surface area and I feel like the hood is the best place to do this you know little review so let's go ahead get into it Merrick Motorsports versus Scalia Motorsports battle of the intake rings let's do this all right back to looking good as new just like that Super easy to wash a car, or clean a car, I should say, when it has been ceramic coated. Another perk of ceramic coating, it looks awesome with just a wipe down. All right, Scalia Motorsports, Merrick Motorsports, who shall prevail? Let's find out. First things first, packaging matters. Packaging definitely matters here. This, not so great. This, definitely looking good. Like I said, Merrick Motorsports, Scalia Motorsports. So let's see if the trend here, you know, fits suit with how they're packaged. Let's see how they actually are packaged in the boxes and whether it matches, you know, what it looks like on the outside. And I know you guys are like, but dude, you're wearing a Merrick Motorsports shirt. How can this be an unbiased opinion, an unbiased review? Trust me, guys, this is unbiased. I don't have anything against Scalia Motorsports and I don't have anything against Merrick Motorsports. So this is strictly an unbiased you know, review of my own, my opinion, so you guys can make your best judgment on whether you guys wanna pick Scalia Motorsports or Merrick Motorsports for your modification needs. All right, I'm gonna run through and pre-cut these real quick so that you guys don't have to watch me do it. All right, both boxes have now been pre-cut and it is time to open. Let's do Scalia first. So let's see exactly what he's got in here. He's got installation instructions. That's important. So I got the Diablo rings here. 
So it says, these are different than pinky rings in that you do not have to remove the factory air tunnel caps unless your Diablo rings came with screens. Then, of course, you need to remove the factory air tunnel caps before installing your new Diablo rings. Okay, cool. You guys can pause the video if you want to read the bottom part. Let's go ahead and check and see what is actually inside the box here. And don't fly away from me. I need you. So we got some bubble wrap. We're off to a pretty good start here. More bubble wrap. And more bubble wrap in the bottom. So we have, it says for DG Prods, Diablo, Tour Red with honeycomb screens, plus 392 Hemi SRT and air, bag, or air grabber decals. Okay, so we got that. And we got another box here that says, this is for Destroyer Gray with honeycomb screams. So I got two sets from Scalia Motorsports and these are the boxes here that they come in. Let's go ahead and pull them out. Gonna pre-cut these real quick. Okay, so as you can see, they're in their own little boxes here, which is pretty cool. They're in a protective box inside of a box with you know, some bubble wrap here, which is good. Now let's go ahead and open these up. So first things first, we are met with his business card and some stickers here. Stickers look pretty cool. Business cards are doing it. Anthony Scalia, owner. So let's go ahead and pull these rings out here. Man, the hood just wants to slide everything. I didn't even think of that. So let's go ahead and set these over here. And let's pull these Diablo rings out of here. Destroyer Gray. Let's see if these match up. I would say that's pretty close. Pretty close to matching up. What do you guys think? And then we got a little adhesive 3M on the side with some honeycombs here in the back, which I'm, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what that's going to do and what that's going to look like. But we'll find out. Let's go ahead and open the other pair. Before I do, I mean, these are packaged decently. They're in here. They, they got a lot of protection around them so they can't get damaged, which is good. That's, not, that's a good thing. So we got some stickers here if I want to use them to basically place, you know, on the, the ring itself, which I'm not going to. I like the clean look, so I'm not going to use any of these. But appreciate it, Scalia, for sending these over. Now let's see what the red looks like. All right, so Torred, Torred, Red. Ultimately though, I wanted the Destroyer Gray so that I could use my halos. It would still be like a neutral color here because when you use the halos with this satin red here, it's kinda, it throws it off. So with the Destroyer Gray in here, I'll be able to use any color that I want and it'll look fire, like super good. So yeah, all in all, the colors are great. Um, I'm not too sure about the honeycomb here. I don't know how it's really put together, but doesn't look, really look the greatest. Although I will give it to him for trying. Um, I'm gonna try and install these and see how they fit and whether they work right. But yeah, it kind of just looks like they're taped in there, if you guys can see. Looks like electrical tape or something that has kind of sealed these in so not too sure about that but let's go ahead and check out Merrick Motorsports um, and see what they have to do and see how they stack up against the Scalia Motorsports intake rings so first things first the box is good it's professional looks clean let's go ahead and open this up I can already see that there's a hat in here multiple different packages hat looks badass so we're gonna go ahead and set that aside now we got multiple packages. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. I didn't order a shirt, but hell yeah, dude. Thanks a lot for that. So shirt and hat right off the bat, taking care of his customers. That's awesome. And we're going to go ahead and open these. These are all individually packaged, which is great. So big thumbs up for that. 
I'm still not knocking Scalia. You put together a good package here. You did great um, with the protecting. And, I mean, the box was eh, but a lot of people are going to be like, dude, you're nitpicking, which I kind of am. But I'll tell you what. This is non-biased, so you did a great job with everything here. Good job to you, dude. Appreciate you for hitting me up and, you know, having me pick out a couple pairs. But we're going to go ahead and check out Merrick Motorsports now. Let's get these pre-cut so you guys can see. So this is actually interesting. He sends them in solo red cups, which I could see how that could have way less flex. And we'll go ahead and get in here and see exactly what it looks like inside. So take into consideration, he sent a shirt, which is protection. He sent a hat, which is also added protection. And now look at this, okay? This is interesting here, right? You have a red solo cup, which fits these perfectly inside. All right, so here is Merrick Motorsports product here, okay? As you guys can see, it's rubber and it's not going to fit you know, come out of the intake ring once it's in there. It's pretty much stuck. You're going to have to pull this out just like I did right out of the red solo cup. So overall, this has a great feel to it. It's heavy and the color is great. As you can see here, let me match these up real quick. So first of all, size difference is huge. Scalia is on the left, Merrick Motorsports is on the right, and as you can see here without it, you know, sliding around. A lot different size. Okay, guys, so I've ran into a little issue here, okay? Look at the difference between these two rings here. I just want you guys to see this. Um, the difference is crazy, all right? Like... This is Merrick Motorsports. You guys see that? That's a match. This is a match right here. Now we pull up Scalia Motorsports. Does that look like a match to you guys? Doesn't look like a match to me. It looks like it is a lot brighter, a lot lighter than Destroyer Gray. Now, it could be because my car is dirty, but let's go ahead and find out if that's why. Okay now, surface area is clean. Does that look like the same color to you? Now what about this? Does that look like the same color? I would say yeah. I would definitely say that that is the same color. And just know guys, I'm not paid by Merrick Motorsports to do this. I'm not paid by Scalia to do this. I'm just doing an honest review of somebody who has done hard work. Both these guys have made a product, right? But... I'm really trying not to be biased here. I really am. But that is an exact match. Exact match. This is not an exact match. Now I want to look at the Torred and see if it is an exact match between the two as well. Let's go ahead and look at that. Okay, let's see if these two colors are the same color. But, you know, look at the way Merrick Motorsports ring looks look at the way it shines look at the level of craftsmanship the edges that go into it and now look at scalia's work do you guys see a difference here like i'm really trying not to be biased i really am but guys i think this speaks for itself these are cheaper than these You guys gotta, you guys gotta make your best decision here. You guys gotta go with how you feel. But this heavier, better made, feels really nice, has very nice line work, has very nice gloss. It's very clean looking. Scalia's, on the other hand, almost looks like it has eggshell inside. 
and the gloss isn't there compared to Merrick Motorsports. And you have 3M tape on the back of this, which I just realized if you put 3M tape in your intake ring, you might not get these out. These may be stuck in there forever. So I'm actually not going to install one of these on my car. The thing with Merrick Motorsports is with one hand, you can pull out, man, that's dirty. You can pull out the ring, right? And I'm going to definitely clean that up. Real With one hand, you can pick this up and you can place it directly in and push. And it's in. Just like that. Just like so. All right. What do you guys think? Exact match? I would say so. I had to throw a sweater on because holy shit, it is getting gross outside. It is coming down like crazy. All right, guys, once again, Merrick Motorsports definitely I'm trying to make a video, dude. I'm trying to make a video. All right, so Merrick Motorsports came out on top with the paint color of matching. Looks awesome. I'm not really sure what color that is over there. It's just a flat gray, it looks like. But yeah, this came out on top, definitely. The gloss level of craftsmanship looks amazing. So yeah, you guys tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Spot on. Let's go ahead and install this one too. Fire up the halos and see what it looks like. All right, yeah, it is, it's raining like crazy. I don't like it. But uh, this is what it looks like with the destroyer gray rings in. All right, so here's gonna, what it's going to look like when I'm just cruising. The white looks awesome. Show you from this side. Destroyer gray rings, guys. Now let's go ahead and swap over to some color, show you guys what it's going to look like with every single color. I just figured I'd run these through every single color for you guys so you guys can see for yourselves what it looks like when you have a neutral color with halos. It looks badass. I really like the white running lights too. The white looks awesome and that's what's primarily going to be used with it. So yeah, the white looks great, but all the other colors look great as well. That's what happens when you have a neutral color and you have you know, color shifting halos that you can do whatever color you want. Neutral colors are where it's at. The blue looks so good. The green looks good. The blue, that blue though. Oh man. The red looks awesome as well. I can't All choose right. guys. Let's head inside and let's talk a little bit more about my conclusion to this review and what I think about, you know, both Merrick Motorsports and Scalia Motorsports throughout this video. All right, let's get inside. All right, guys. So ultimately, now we're inside. Now we're going to be talking about um, the differences and my conclusion to how I thought these rings stacked up against each other. So like I said, these are Scalia Motorsports and Merrick Motorsports um, intake rings. So this is the Merrick Motorsport ring. This is the Scalia Motorsport ring. Okay, and there's definitely differences between these two, and I want to make these very clear. The more and more I did this video and looked at these, the more biased I kind of became. So the level of craftsmanship in the Merrick Motorsports ring is unmatched. It's really unmatched. There is no way that this should be more expensive than this. I mean, this is quality. It's heavy. This is light and it's bigger. It's gaudy. It's not, in my opinion, I don't like this at all. I mean, it just looks like it's been put together very cheap. There were definitely things with like three millimeter tape on the back of these kind of, you know, if you're putting it into a tube, you might not get these out. And I like to interchange them. And that's, what's so great about the Merrick Motorsports um, product here is that with one hand, you can literally pull it straight out of the, the tube. And then with an, one hand, you can plop it back inside. So that's what makes these so unbelievably 
professional is just the level of craftsmanship, the paint, the time that it takes for these to be made. And, you know, these are just a great product all in all. I love it. And they're less expensive than these, which are called Diablo rings. There's three different levels of these pinky rings, Diablo rings, and something else. I can't remember the other, the other, um, a form of these, but there's another one that's even more expensive than these ones. I picked the mid grade one just to see what it would be like. And I mean, you can tell guys, this was not <laughs> like no time goes into making one of these. Let me tell you that right now. I didn't realize that there was a bunch of stuff inside the t-shirt. So this is pretty cool. Two keychains, launch key and remove before flight. Those are dope. Thank you, man. And then we're just going to go over the level of professionalism with cards here. Okay. I know it's not a lot to some people, but appearance means a lot to a lot of people, right? So mood rings, they're called mood rings. So that's what Scally Motorsports calls his rings. Okay. As you can see here, we've got a very well put together logo, very well put together card, but not too much. It's not over the top. It tells you who he is. He's the owner. Gives you a way to contact him, gives his logo. And then on the back, super clean, Destroyer Gray, his car, amazing. And on the back of Scalia, we have nothing. So, yeah. The level of work, level of professionalism that goes into Merrick Motorsports is not going to be, you know, faked or a knockoff is not going to take the place of Merrick Motorsports. I think this guy is going places. I think his business is about to boom. And if you have not checked out Merrick Motorsports, go check him out right now. Here's his email, contact information if you want to get a hold of him. Check him out on Instagram. I'll go ahead and link his Instagram right here so you guys can go check him out. But yeah, guys, this is so freaking cool. He takes so much time into his, you know, his stuff, gives you a thank you, gives you a discount code for the next time that you order. If somebody wants to, you know, use that and go right ahead and boom, got one of his girls on here who does his modeling for him. It's pretty cool. Now we got something over here that just, you know, walks you through how to install them, which is pretty neat. All we had from Scalia was just some words, but we actually have pictures here that show us how to install it, which is pretty damn cool. And we got multiple stickers over here a shirt, and we've got a hat. So yeah, definitely a big thank you to Merrick Motorsports for sending this stuff over and letting me do this review between Scalia, which is over here, and Merrick Motorsports intake rings. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video of comparing the intake rings between Scalia Motorsports and Merrick Motorsports. If you guys are new to the channel and you like this video, like what I have going on on the channel, and you haven't yet subscribed, Go ahead and do so now. I would appreciate it. And I love every single one of you guys. You guys make this happen. We're almost at 16,000 subscribers. And it would mean the world to me if you would come back time and time again and spend a little bit of your day with me so that I can teach you guys things about the Mopar community and things that you can do with your own car that will make it, you know, just a little bit better. All right, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and like down below. Make sure you comment. Let me know whether you guys would choose Scalia or Merrick Motorsports for all of your modification needs. A lot more stuff coming from Merrick Motorsports. He's working on stuff every single day to get his business to boom and grow. So yeah, guys, if you guys would like to check out more of Artemis, which is my 2017 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack in Destroyer Gray, I've got a whole library of videos that you can go check out. So make sure you guys do that. Share this video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, everybody.